What's up, Machine Freaks? How you doing? I wasn't even gonna make this video, but I think it's in everybody's best interest if I just do. Get some chips and popcorn, maybe a drink, because this is gonna take a little bit. So before I get into anything, I just wanna say thank you. Whether you love me, you're on the fence with me, or you hate my freaking guts, thank you. Now what I'm about to say, don't take it in the wrong way. I'm not trying to offend you, I'm just being completely honest with you. I work my tail off for you. I do. My hands, I just got done making a video today. I didn't even, I spent the entire day working on this video for you. And I didn't even and I didn't even finish it, let alone edit it. So I'll probably have 15 hours into tomorrow's video. I'm not complaining. I loved making the video. I loved hanging out with my buddy while I was making the video. I liked that we upgraded the Duramax. I have stained hands and a bloody knuckle from the work I did. Like I said, I loved it. Thank you. Before I get into why I was gone for however long I was gone, a week or two, let me say that to the people that love me, Thank you very much. I love you too. I care for you. I, I'll have your back any day of the week. Even if you're in a different country, I got your back. Okay, whether I make a video or not, remember you got somebody that cares about you. The people that are on the fence that, that talk good sometimes and then other times they just could care less and they just want to look good in the comment section and they want to impress other people in the comment section. I want to thank you too, because I know that 50% of the time you like me, and I know 50% of the time you don't like me. And that's okay, you you have your, your judgments. And I mean, I obviously have done something to irritate you, whether that's uh, saying something, doing something. I understand you have, I understand the psychology behind it, but I want to thank you. Uh, for the third group of people, the haters, I want to thank you too. And I'm not, I'm not trying to flatter, I'm, I'm not flattering anybody. I am telling you how I actually feel. Thank you, haters. Thank you very much. I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't, it's only good things. Just know, haters, that you have somebody that cares about you. When everybody else in the world doesn't care about you, I still care about you. Now, now you can choose to believe that, and you can choose not to believe that, but I'm telling you, I care about you. I care about everybody who watches my videos. There should be no dislikes. I don't I don't try to offend anybody. I try to make you, everybody, feel as good as possible as, as you possibly can. I, I understand I have nice things. And I understand that on, on the computer screen my life looks perfect. But it's it's not. You know, things a wrench can be thrown on the fan really, really quickly. And that's what happened and that's that's why I took the break I did without telling anybody. Now now don't don't let me try to persuade you into not clicking the dislike button. Go ahead, click the dislike button. I don't care. YouTube likes it. Haters like it. Keep doing it. I, I will not say don't do it because, you know, you have your opinions about me. So, the reason why I took my break. Everybody goes through what I went through. And that is, what the hell am I doing with my life? I don't want this video to be 25 minutes long, but I do want to explain what happened. So, what basically happened is I sat back and I said, what really makes me happy? And I think everybody should ask themselves that question when they, when they go to their job, when they're thinking about going to school, when they think about the next chapter in their life. What makes you happy? And at that time, YouTube just wasn't making me happy. Like, it had nothing to do with money. It had nothing to do with haters. It had nothing to do with l lovers. It had nothing to do with it. It's just, what really made me happy? And for some reason, my brain said, YouTube. YouTube does not make me happy. So I stopped. And the reason why you started to dislike me or like me more when I came back was because you either believed a lie, I think that's, maybe that's the right terminology, or you didn't believe a lie. And the lie that was going around is I died or I, had, I was in an accident or something like that. And because you believed that lie, when I came back, you were disappointed because you were tricked and you didn't like that. And instead of taking that out on yourself, you took it out on me. That's completely understandable. People blame things on other people all the time. 99% of the time, the reason why you're not happy or you feel, you feel sad or you feel unhappy, you feel angry or stressed out, it's because of you. 99% of the time. So sit back and, and realize what's going on. So after I decided YouTube wasn't making me happy anymore, I went ahead and saw my family down in Florida. 
and I started talking to some of you guys on YouTube. If I didn't talk to you on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, whatever, whatever social media you try to contact me, that was because the line was so big, I can't get to everybody. See, replying to you guys and keeping you guys in the loop is more difficult than you think. Now I can just make a video, but I'm not, I'm not addressing every single one of you. I was communicating with other people. I just wasn't doing it in a video format. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I don't have any excuse. I just wanted to give you guys a reason because excuses are like buttholes. You know, we all have one and they all stink. So I, that's why I didn't come out and say, oh, well, this and that. No, I just wanted to say that was my reason. I wasn't happy. And, and that's all there was to it. Nothing huge. Nothing like, you know, somebody died or I was in an accident. Nothing exciting like that. Anything I do, like I said, anything I do, I will never try to offend you or make you sad or upset or angry. Never will I do that because that doesn't do any good in the world. Spread positivity. That's all there is to it. Smile more, as Roman Atwood would say. Smile freaking more because that's the only way you stay happy. And that's why Roman Atwood has a very successful business is because he's focused on the good and not the bad. I, I bring up bigger YouTubers because I know that you guys can relate to them as well. And Casey Neistat said, if you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. But here's the thing. Don't be a hater. There's, there's no use in it. If you want success, go get it. It's hard work. It's very hard work. But don't be hating on people. It gets you nowhere in life. Here I am, successful, telling the people that don't have anything that are unhappy and angry to go and do something. Take that as a good kick in the butt, go do something. For the people that have a good attitude, which is 99% of you guys, good for you. You guys are on the right track. Absolutely. You got, I got your back. What I really want is five years from now, 10 years from now, when people grow up and, and people, you know, hear me every day and, and kind of understand the lingo of life, they can contact me and say, Dalton, you know, you really steered my life into the right way. And, and because of that, I am more successful than I could even dream of. And here I'm just making videos for you guys. But I'm also letting you guys think in the good way. I hope you guys enjoyed my rant. If you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to maybe make another video like this. Um, like I said, we have, we have new... I have new decals. Um, if you watch yesterday's video, you'll, you can see like the, the gist on that. You can win a tachometer and a my stud off my Duramax and a power bank autographed by me. The link for the video will be in the description. Uh, like I said, leave, leave your comments in the comment section below. I look forward to more positivity and hopefully until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. We'll see you later. Thank you.